So in this video today, I want to show you how you can do ripple timeline markers. So here in DaVinci Resolve, you know when you have markers, you can create markers and just a short rundown, you can use markers here so in the edit page and also in the cut page. I have a separate video here on my channel where I talk about how you can add markers and how to use markers and stuff like that. Definitely watch that one first because there's actually three different ways how you can use markers in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. So the thing I want to show you today is let's say you have your marker here. On that position where the marker is, I actually want to do something with my footage. And that's exactly on that point here on my timeline. So, but for whatever reason, like I edit, I do stuff. And now, for example, I lock video track one and audio track one, and I ripple delete. So I have the ripple delete here on my keyboard on Q. And when I do this now, you will see that I ripple delete only this audio track here down. Nothing is touched here with my video clip, which is what I intended. I didn't want it to touch that. I only wanted to ripple delete this. But if you look closer, let's go back. If I ripple delete, I also ripple delete the marker. Now that marker doesn't sit on the position anymore where I was intended to use it. And for that, we can use ripple timeline markers. And in order to get this, you have to come to the shortcuts menu. So option, command and K. And now here on the keyboard shortcut, you go for timeline and scroll down until you find here, ripple timeline markers. And this is a function that you can either turn on or off. So you have to give this a shortcut. I give it now the shortcut shift command R for ripple timeline markers. And you give it whatever shortcut you want. Basically just click it and then give it the shortcut. And then when you're done, you say save. It's already saved in my case. So I go out. So if I now hit the shortcut shift command R, now the ripple timeline markers are activated. So if we do the same now here and ripple delete this part, you see now that the marker is still sitting on the same position. So you have to keep in mind, so even if I now turn my video clip and my audio clip on in the tracks and I ripple delete now, the markers will always stay on the same position. So if I ripple delete through everything, I have to keep this in mind and hit the same shortcut again. So let's undo here shortcut for the timeline markers. And now it's turned off again and now it's actually moving with my timeline. So you have to keep this in mind, but you can do it even here on the iPad. The important part is that you give it a shortcut. I hope this is helpful. If you want to learn more about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, I have a complete masterclass where I teach you all the bells and whistles about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad and not just the original cut page and color page. I also teach you all the hidden features like this one, for example, in this video today, where you can do stuff that normally only exist on the desktop version and how you can do this even on an iPad. So if you like this, if you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe, ding-a-ding -ding on the bam-bang gong, and we'll see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.